This recipe for Instant Pot Chicken Noodle Soup tastes like it's summered for hours, yet it can be on your table in less than 30 minutes. Hey everyone, Kristen here. As someone who suffers from a chronic disease, I believe homemade is best, but it doesn't need to be complicated. Today's recipe, I'm gonna share with you how to make a delicious, hearty, comforting chicken noodle soup that tastes like it came from your grandparents' kitchen, but it can be ready from start to finish in under 30 minutes. So let's get started. To start this recipe, we're gonna hit saute on our Instant Pot. To our inner pot here, I'm gonna add in one tablespoon of unsalted butter. You could use extra virgin olive oil if that's what you have on hand. And we're gonna let our butter melt. I find that the butter adds a nice, rich flavor to this chicken noodle soup, but extra virgin olive oil works just as well. To our melted butter, we want to add in some minced onion and some celery and carrots to really build the flavor of our soup. So I have one small onion here that I have finely minced. It's about a half a cup. And I'm going to add that to my inner pot. I'm also going to add in about a half a cup or three ribs of finely minced celery. And I like to chop up the green leaves as well. It just really adds a nice fresh flavor to your soup. And I also have one cup or three large carrots that have been thinly sliced. Add those to our Instant Pot there. And we're just gonna saute this up in the butter here until our vegetables become nice and soften and translucent. It's beginning to smell so good in here. There's just something magical about the combination of carrots and onions and butter. Mm. Okay, that's looking good. And so to this, I wanna add in some chicken that's been cubed. I have about a half a pound of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. You could use boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And I've cubed these into about one inch pieces here. Just gonna add that to our inner pot. and we're just gonna let our chicken brown up here just so that it can become just a little bit golden in color. I'm also going to season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. We wanna layer our flavors here. My chicken has a little bit of color on all the sides here, and so I'm going to add in some white wine right now that's really going to take this chicken noodle soup up a few notches in terms of flavor. I'm using a half a cup of dried Sauvignon Blanc today. You could use a Chardonnay, whatever you have on hand. You wanna make sure that it's a wine you would drink, but it doesn't have to be an expensive quality wine. And if you don't use alcohol for cooking purposes, you could certainly skip the wine and use additional chicken stock. And now we just want to let our wine cook off here for just a minute or two and take that opportunity to scrape up any brown bits off the bottom of our inner pot. That'll prevent a burn notice from happening. It also add an extra layer of flavor to our soup. Just wanna let that wine simmer for just a minute or two just so that it can evaporate some of the alcohol and really intensify in flavors. We're going to hit cancel on our Instant Pot to turn off the saute function there. And now the soup is gonna to come together super, super fast. To my inner pot here, I'm going to add in four cups of chicken stock. I have low sodium homemade chicken stock here. You can use any chicken broth or bone broth that you like. I'm also going to add in another pinch of salt and pepper here. Probably total, I'm adding in about a half a teaspoon of kosher salt and just a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. I have two sprigs of fresh thyme. That's really gonna add a nice citrusy, slightly floral taste to our chicken soup and it's gonna make it taste like it's really, really been simmering for a long time. I also have a half a teaspoon of crushed rosemary that I'm adding there. That's fresh rosemary. If you didn't happen to have fresh rosemary leaves, um, you would want to use maybe one teaspoon of dried rosemary leaves. 
and we're going to add in egg noodles. I just have one and a half cups of egg noodles here. You could use your favorite brand of egg noodles. We're just going to drop those in our liquid there. Make sure they're submerged so that they cook up nice and evenly. And then that's it. We're gonna pop our lid on our Instant Pot. Make sure our venting knob is pointed towards the sealed position. And then to set the cooking time, we are only going to cook this chicken soup for three minutes on high pressure. That's it. To do this, we're going to hit manual or pressure cook, and we're gonna use the plus or minus buttons and adjust until it reads three minutes. Now I know I normally tell you that you want to let pressure release naturally for at least 10 minutes anytime you're cooking a soup. But because we have noodles in our soup, we only want to let pressure release for five minutes. That's gonna ensure that our noodles don't get overcooked. So once your Instant Pot reads L0005, we are going to do a quick release of pressure. To do this, you wanna stand back from your Instant Pot and you're gonna use a long utensil of some sort to knock the venting position from the ceiling to the venting position. Now, this is one time you may wanna have a kitchen towel on hand to kind of put over your venting knob if liquid starts to spew out. What I like to do is just kind of slowly knock it back. And it will take a minute for pressure to fully release. That's totally natural. I ended up not needing the kitchen towel. There was not very much liquid that came out of my venting knob at all. Just about there. Once your float knob goes down or your lid unlocks, you're ready to open up your Instant Pot. Smells so, so good in here, but I'm not done quite yet. I am going to finish this soup with a little bit of fresh lemon juice, which is really, really just gonna make the flavors pop and make this homemade soup taste spectacular, like restaurant quality. So I have a half of a fresh lemon here, only a fresh lemon. Do not use jarred lemon juice. That just won't be the same flavor. And I'm gonna use my muscles there and squeeze that into the soup. Give that a stir. And as you come across those thyme leaves or the sprigs of thyme there, you just wanna go ahead and remove them and discard. They've given off all their flavor to the soup. Oh, it just smells so good. So I'm gonna dish this up here. Oh, another little sprig of thyme. Some carrots and chicken. And this is the kind of soup you crave when you're not feeling well or when the weather is a little bit dreary and chilly. You just want something comforting, and this chicken soup hits the spot. You go in for a bite there. It's a little bit hot. Really hot. <laughs> mm. That noodle was perfectly cooked. It was perfectly al dente, not at all mushy. But what makes this soup unbelievable is the addition of that wine and the lemon juice. It just gives it so much dimension of flavor, but yet these were really simple, humble ingredients and it came together effortlessly. This chicken soup is one you need to try soon. And if you're looking for another comforting chicken soup that's made in the Instant Pot, be sure to catch my next recipe where I share with you how to make Instant Pot chicken and dumplings. Until next time, happy cooking.